Hey, hey, party people, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can instantly add style to your edit with film effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, you know I've got mad love for each and every one of you, and that's why you don't have to buy anything in order to follow along with any of my tutorials. That's right, just go to 4kfree.com, and you can use the exact same elements that I'm using in this tutorial for free. You can use it in your pro work, you can use it in your, your unpaid work, it doesn't matter, they're not watermarked. Never understood why someone would watermark something if you want them to use it. But anyway, head on over to 4kfree.com and you can get all kinds of free stuff from Stephanie and myself. So if you go there, if you go to 4kfree.com, you're going to end up at a page like this if you've never seen it before. So go ahead and it takes 20 seconds. Just put in your name and then put in your email address. And then you click, click here to download. From there, you're going to get an email sent to your email address and it's going to send you a link right here, Blammy. You click that link and it'll take you right to this amazing page built by Final Cut Stuff because we love you. So if you scroll down, you'll see all kinds of amazing effects. This is all free. You can take the time you want and download all or little, whatever, however much you want. It's all 100% for free, right? So if you scroll down right here to film and light effects, scroll all the way down. This is what we're using in this tutorial, film effects. So the first thing I need you to do, if you, do, if you don't have a rampant film effects, is just to click here. Click here to download free effects. You click here and blammy, as you can see, in just a minute or two, I will have some free 4K goodness from 4Kfree.com. Now, if you want to know what these effects are or you want, I don't know, if you want to buy the volume or if you just want to check it out, Every free button has a button next to it that says click here to purchase the full product. This is not going to add to your cart. This is not going to charge you. So go ahead and just where the film effects are, click that button. It's just going to take you to the product page, right? Every single product that we have at 4K Free comes from our professional product line. So you're getting things from the actual product line that we're selling. This is stuff that you see on all the networks out there. This is stuff you see all in your favorite TV shows, music videos, feature films. It's all there. It's right here. So you can learn a little, little bit about each product that you're downloading, right? There's 200 film effects in this particular product. Uh, it's 4K, it works in everything. You can see what people are saying, Mac, PC, blah, 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 right? I'm not gonna walk you through all that. But go ahead and go back to 4kfree.com and just download whatever you want. This is all free because we love you. So if you wanna just test things out without paying for them, or if you just want free stuff and you just don't wanna pay for it, whatever it is, I don't care, I don't judge. I got nothing but mad love for each and every one of you. All right, so let's jump on in to Premiere Pro because you got the film effects and it's now time to use them. So how do you bring them in? You're not gonna find them under your effects panel. These aren't plugins, you don't install them. So what do you do? In your project window, go ahead and click inside it and right click and hit import. And then wherever you downloaded it, once you unzip your zip file, you're gonna see four files for the film project. You're gonna see Film Leaks 114, Film Leaks 25, Film 39, and Film 7. Let's go ahead and highlight all of them and click import. Blammy. And as you can see, they bring them right in and then you can use them right away. Now I've already brought these in, as you can see here, I've got, I've made pre existing examples here for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase these because I've already got them in. Blammy. And I like to keep things nice and organized. I put them in this little bin here. And as you can see, this is now our 4k free elements. We get four film elements so you can scrub through them like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a great way to audition what you're going to get. And so you got Film dirt and scratches and light leaks. Very, very cool. So how do I make this effect right here? What, how do I do this? What's the next step? Well, the first thing you just have to do is figure out what look you want. And it looks like we used this element right here. So let's go ahead and just grab this film effect and just drag it onto our timeline, like so. So let me do that again and show you what we're doing here. This is our raw clip, right? Just grab the film effect that you want from your bin and drag it on top of your footage. That's step number one. There's only one more step to do. It's that simple. Let's go ahead and close this out. Now with your effect highlighted, go ahead and hit shift five and that's gonna open up your effect controls over here like so. Go ahead and look for opacity, blend mode. And we wanna change this from normal because you can't see your footage behind the film effect. And we wanna change it to multiply. Now normally when you follow our tutorials, we tell you to go to screen. And if you were to change this particular effect to screen, you're not going to see anything. You're like, well, that doesn't work for me. You're actually going to see through the film dirt, right? Because what screen does is gets rid of all the black values and leaves the lighter values. Well, we're doing the exact opposite of that with film effects by using multiply. Bloop. See, there you go. So multiply gets rid of all of the white values and leaves the darker values. So now there you go. You've now blended film into your shot. Super, super easy. Awesome. So let's look at example number two. We've got this skateboarding shot with some film and some flashes. We get asked to do this stuff all the time for music videos and whatnot. So how do we do that? How do we achieve that effect? Faux free. All right. So here's our, our raw footage like so. Let's go back to our 4K free bin right here. And you know what? Just to make it more fun, I'm just going to grab this film effect and drag it, drop it on top. And as you can see, it's a longer clip. So we'll just go ahead and cinch it up like so. And what do we do? We highlight our clip, shift five, opens up effect controls. 
and then we change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Whammy. Now let's say you've already done that and you don't want to keep doing that every time. I'm going to undo. A couple of quick ways you can do that is you can just go ahead and just erase this real quick. If you've already got a, a, an effect on your timeline and it's already blended, you can just highlight that effect like this and then option drag it on the Mac or alt drag it on the PC and whammy, you have yourself a film effect, right? Cool. Or if you don't want to do that and you wanted to use the previous one that you had right here, which was this, right? All you have to do is go to an effect that's already been blended, highlight that, go over to your effect controls, shift five if it's not open, opacity, highlight that and hit copy, and then just go over to your new element that's raw, see, not blended, and hit paste. So you've just copied the blend mode. One last thing you can do if you wanna, if you're like, wow, this is cool, but I, I really wanna use a, a grungier thing, right? I, I wanna do, uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I liked this look and I don't like this look for whatever reason, right? I just wanna swap it out, so that's easy. You just find the clip that you were looking for, make sure your effect is highlighted in your timeline, find the new clip like so, and just drag it over it, and then just hit Option on the Mac, Alt on the PC, and let go, and you've now just swapped out the file, see? Cool. Now let me show you something that a lot of people ask, hey, you know, why 4K? I work in HD, I don't have a lot of RAM, I've got a small computer, I've got a little laptop, whatever it is. There's all these reasons why people think 4K is bad for them or they can't use it. 4K is just a larger frame size in this case, right? So let me just show you why 4K is, is awesome for you. So just go ahead and zoom out here like so. Okay, we're in an HD timeline here, right? This is all HD footage, everything's good, right? This is an HD timeline. If I go ahead and I click on this, this layer right here, or let's just go back to the shot where if I click on this layer right here and I highlight motion like so, whammy, check that out. This is an HD frame in an HD timeline. No big surprise, right? Well, if we highlight the effect above it, the film effect, and I highlight motion, boom, check that out. Let me just click the video underneath it again, just to illustrate. HD. Click this. Whammy, 4K. Now the blending and everything that you see, the film effect is only gonna apply inside the timeline, right? So what, why do I need all this extra stuff? I'm just basically throwing it away. Well, you get maximum repositionability. So I can take it as is and I can just move it around until I get the exact effect I want. So now one clip becomes hundreds of different clips because of, I, can, I can move it around. I can also rotate it, right? Like so, if I wanted to. Normally I would suggest not rotating film, but they're doing it in, or in, uh, they're doing it in Preacher. So, uh, you know, if it works for them and their story, why wouldn't it work for yours? Okay, so why, what else can I do with this? Well, I can shrink it down, right? Now, I can't, I can't move it as much, but I can take that 4K frame and fit it into the HD frame. Now, check that out. So now I've got more of a vignette and some, let me zoom that in. I've got more of the vignette elements and the film elements from this thing. So one clip, if I just double click on that, this one clip, this 4K clip becomes literally dozens or maybe even hundreds of clips depending upon what you do with it. So realize very quickly that you can use some or all of every single frame. So 4K is definitely worth the money if you're willing to spend a few extra bucks to get the 4K flexibility for your HD work. Okay, so I promised to you I'd show you how to get the flishy flashy like you see here on top of the film. So what do we do? Well, it's pretty simple. Just like before, go over here to our 4K free like so. And this is our red, our red flash. I'll drag it over on top, whammy, like this. And of course, I roll back and I hit play. And what happens? Well, I, I don't have anything blended, just like I did before. So how do I blend this one? Well, you go ahead and highlight your effect and hit Shift-5 to open up your effect controls. And this time, you change your blend mode from normal to screen. Now, if I change it to multiply like we did before on the film, you're going to get a very grungy look. <laughs> Maybe probably too grungy, right? You, you might be able to tweak the opacity and stuff, but that's a little much. So for light effects, I typically recommend starting with screen and working from there. And for film effects, multiply and working from there. So you roll back, whammy. Check it out. And again, because these flashes are so large, this is 4K, right? So if I zoom out, you can't even see the frame line from here. Wham, right? So I can give you more edge lighting by just pulling it in, rolling it back. Wow, right? Or I can give you way, way less edge lighting by going over here. See? So all completely flexible, whatever you want to do. So it's just dragging and dropping and blending. So let's take a look at this thing. This, this, this shot's identical. It's just 
uh, film grunge and a blue flash. Well, we all we know how to do that. So what are we going to do? We're not going to do this all over again. That's crazy. So what I'm going to do, I've already done a film flash and a film dirt effect here, right? So I'm just going to highlight both of these. I'm going to option drag on the Mac, alt drag on the PC, and just put it right over. And then I'll go ahead and drag this film out like so, right? So now I've got the film grunge, but it's the wrong color flash, right? Well, let's look at our flashes. Do we have a blue one? We do. So let's grab this one and just replace it holding down the option key on the Mac, alt key on the PC, and let go. And of course, this effect is much larger, so I'll just drag it out and see? There you go. So now because I repositioned it, I can move it around, scale it down like so. Just really dial this in to get it what I to get it how I want. That's cool. That is so cool. All right, so that's easy. Of course. So I mean, it it takes no time to do this, right? So then you're like, "Well, what if I want to tweak these? What if I want to do something special to this stuff just like you see here?" This is all still the free stuff. So how do I get a purple flash? I don't see a purple flash in the free stuff. Well, a very good question. So once again, what are we going to do? Are we going to drag and drop and, and blend or are we going to copy and paste or are we going to swap out? Your call. Because I want to, I'm going to go ahead and drag, drop and blend. So grab this, drag it on top. This is our film. I'm going to cinch it up like so and then turn that off. Go to shift five for effect controls and then change my blend mode from normal to multiply. Wham. All right. So now we've got film over this. Yeah can't have a skateboarding video without film. Come on, you know how it be. All right, so we've got that. And then of course we need the crazy flashes that we see here. So as you can see, we used the blue flash, but it's really purple, that's crazy. So let's go ahead and find that blue flash, which is right here, highlight it, drag it, put it on top. And now we've got this blue flash and then you know what we need to do next, right? What do we need to do? We need to blend it, shift five, change our opacity, blend mode from normal to screen, and then roll it back, right? We're almost there. So I got the flishy flashies, I got the film, but I want that flishy to be purple. So what do I do? Go over here to your project window and change it to effects. And under effects, search for tint. And then just go ahead and drag that tint onto your flishy flashy, your light leak, whatever you want to call it, and then roll it back. What happens? Well, you get this really cool white flash, right? And if you're looking to add white flashes like a documentary would or just you just like the look of white flashes, you're done. We said purple though. So with this light leak highlighted, go shift five to go to effect controls, highlight tint and change map white to from white to whatever color you want. We picked a purple. So I'm gonna pick this nice purple. And remember tint is like staining. It's like throwing food coloring over everything. So you're gonna lose some of the properties of your, of your effect when you do things this way, right? Because you're overpowering, you're turning all colors that are in the white value or have white value in them to this, this purple pink uh, effect, right? So you're staining this, right? So how do I get a more uh, realistic effect once I've added the stain? Well, there's a couple things you can do. You can highlight uh, your effect, go over to effect controls, shift, F5, shift five if, you've, if you don't have it open, go to your tint, and right here where it says amount to tint, you can start by just dialing it back, right? So let's get to like a 30 to 50 range, somewhere in there, roll it back. And see that right there is more realistic because it's not as much. You're starting to see some of the real values, right? You can also take it a step further and I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this at the, the nuclear purple that it is. I'm gonna highlight my layer and I'm gonna option drag on the Mac, alt drag on the PC, up and duplicate, right? And now it's gonna be like super purple, right? Let's go ahead and highlight this one on the top, shift five to open up effects controls and just turn off tint altogether, right? Now, of course, this is going to make everything crazy bright because you're, you've got two film effects. So what do I do? Well, I'm gonna dial this one back. This is my real, what I've done is basically duplicated this uh, light leak and it's the real one. It's the one that we shot, the one that we, we are giving to you. We're blending that back on top, right? So go to your effect controls and let's just turn off the, the stopwatch for opacity and let's just start at 50%, just dial that way back, right? So now you're blending 50% of the real, of the real uh, um, light leak over your stained light leak. And this way you get a little bit more of the purples and the blues. It's still a little much because the purple is so overbearing. So maybe I will dial this one back, dial the purple one back and dial the opacity. And you know, you can basically play to taste. Cool. So there you go. 
you can really quickly and easily add unbelievable real film effects and, fla and film flashes to your edit with no effort whatsoever. It takes so little time to do this, and now you can do it for free, and you can use it in your real work today. So let's say you like these free effects, right? You just, you're like, I really dig these effects, I want more. Well, you know what, because you spent your time with me and I believe time is your most valuable asset. I believe that's the most valuable thing you have. So you, because you shared your time with me and you took time to watch my tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and kick you down some love. So you go to rampantfilm.com, I'm gonna hook you up with a 20% discount on anything that you buy, enter code RUNRAMPANT, that's a private code between just you and me, just you, you gotta get, watch our tutorials in order to, to get that code. You take 20% off by entering the code run rampant and it's 100% because we love you. Just, we do this because we absolutely love and adore each and every one of you. So again, thank you so much for watching my tutorials. It means the world to me when you take the time to watch and leave a comment. Please, 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 on the bottom right hand corner, click that R if you haven't already. Hit us up with a subscribe. We got nothing but love for you. Please share the love back and, sub and hit us up with a sub. And also please like, share, and comment. We love your comments. We love it when you like and you share. Let's interact, let's have some fun. If you have some questions or if, if you have a tutorial request, hit me up. And of course, until next time, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.